good morning class 6 students i am your science teacher and this is the part 4 video for the components of food okay let's see the objectives today we are going to study about the balanced diet nutrients loss while overcooking of the food the deficiency diseases like the deficiency of protein which will cause the protein deficiency disease then we will see the vitamin deficiency disease the mineral deficiency disease and at the end we will see the excessive intake of food what happens by the excessive intake of the food so let's start with the balanced diet the balanced diet is the diet that contains all the food items all the nutrients water and roughage in the proper amounts okay so the food that we eat during the whole day is called our diet the diet that contains adequate amount of all the essential nutrients roughage and water for the proper growth and development of the body is called as the balanced diet so the nutrients Nutrients, roughage, water present in the right amounts or the adequate amount which is needed by our body is called as the balanced diet. The composition of the balanced diet depends upon the sex, age and the person, person's occupation. And so if the child is growing, okay, if it is an infant, so they need a lot of proteins so that their body can built the new tissues okay for that the protein is needed we already said the bo body building nutrient is what proteins but in case of the laborers athletes rickshaw pullers all these need a lot of energy for the physical hard work so for that they need a lot of carbohydrates and fats because these are the energy giving food okay so this is the balanced diet. We should take all the nutrients, roughage and water in the proper amount in our daily diet. Okay. Now let's see the nutrients lost during the cooking. While we cook the food, if we are overcooking the foods, what will happen? The nutrients will burn. Sometimes what happens when we cut the vegetables, the nutrients get easily washed away okay, or get destroyed. When we cut the vegetables and keep them for a longer time in the air, okay, that time also especially vitamin C get destroyed when kept in the air. When we keep the cut vegetables in the air, okay, if we add the cooking soda, to the vitamin C contained food, the vitamin C gets washed away. The proteins, all the proteins present in the food gets coagulated by the heat. If we overcook, like in this picture, this man is overcooking something. Okay, so what happens? The proteins, if the food contains the proteins, they get heated quickly. So cooking result in softening the proteins in the food such as egg, fish meat if the coagulated protein is heated if we heat the proteins like for example when we boil the eggs they get heated okay and uh, the white egg white part gets softened it loses moisture and becomes dry okay and rubbery and becomes difficult to digest so if we overcook the proteins they will become difficult to digest oils and fats when the fat is heated it has the tendency to separate from the food if the oil is heated too much it gets separated from the food for example when we boil the milk the layer of fat or the layer of cream that deposits over the milk that shows that the uh, fat has deposited above the milk and if we use that uh, oil if we use the oil again and again to fry the pakoras or bhajiyas or again and again if we use the same oil the oil loses the 
quality okay and becomes poor quality oil also minerals like sodium potassium dissolve in water minerals get lost when the food is first cut so if we cut the food okay and then wash the food what will happen these minerals they will get washed away so what should be done in order to protect the vitamins minerals proteins in the food let's see how to reduce these losses when peeling the skin of the vegetables do peel as thinly as possible so you have to peel off the vegetables uh, so that only small amount of the uh, veggies get away and only the peels get off and not the potato if we see this example okay do not cut the vegetables or uh, into very small cubes as each small part comes in contact with the oxygen destroying the vitamins so do not cut the vegetables in very very small pieces and do not keep them in the air for the longer time also so that they do not come in contact with the oxygen then do not soak the vegetables if you must you must soak use up the soaking water to uh, prepare some soup or gravies so if you soak the vegetables so you can also use that water Uh, for making the soups and gravies do not eat with skin do eat with skin uh, on whenever possible so if you uh, take some eat some fruits so eat the skins also don't wash or uh, just peel off them every time so fruits you can take without peeling them off salads should be prepared just before serving and should be served in the closed dishes to avoid the excessive exposure of the air so you should not cut the vegetables and keep them for longer in the air just cut the salads and uh, before the before you have to eat them do not throw away the excess water drained after boiling of the vegetables so you have to use the water Uh, for the gravies or the soups okay now let's see some of the deficiency diseases the diseases caused when you don't take the nutrients properly in the right amounts these cause some deficiency diseases we need balanced diet for our proper growth and development if any of the nutrients is less than the required amount in the diet it causes a disease so if the nutrient is less than it is required okay so it causes some disease diseases that are caused due to the lack of the carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins or minerals in our diet are called the deficiency diseases so the diseases that are caused by the lack of the nutrients like carbohydrates fats proteins minerals vitamins all these nutrients if they are not present in the food in the proper amount they start causing the deficiency diseases so uh, on the basis of the nutrients they can be classified as protein fat carbohydrate deficiency so in this case the proteins fats carbohydrates all three are missing from the diet so these kind of diseases take place then is the protein deficiency in this only protein is missing from the diet and so only protein deficiency disease okay then is vitamin deficiency if we have studied about so many vitamin vitamin a b c d so if any of the vitamin is less in the a uh, uh, balanced diet then what will happen it will start causing some vitamin deficiency disease then is the mineral deficiency disease if the nutrient mineral is not present in the food for a longer time then we will start having the de mineral deficiency diseases let's see one by one all of them 
so the first one is the protein deficiency diseases if a child does not get enough proteins in the food for a longer time he is likely to suffer from the severe malnutrition every common protein deficiency disease in children is the very common deficiency disease is kwashiorkor so this kwashiorkor is the disease which is common among the children this is because of the protein deficiency in the uh, children so what happens this belly kind you can see this stomach this pot like belly these bulging eyes and the skin becomes very dry scaly okay and the hair goes reddish in color and begin to fall very soon so limbs especially the legs are very thin and bony okay so these are all the symptoms of kwashiorkor let's see stunt growth means the growth is not proper among the children His skin becomes dry and scaly you can see over here then is the hair becomes reddish and begin to fall so there is no much hair on the head and they begin to fall very quickly the body swells up due to the retention of the water so the body starts swelling you can see this feels like it is swelling then limbs especially the legs they become thin and bony the legs of the children are thin in this disease then the large pot like belly so they have a large pot like belly and the bulging eyes okay so these are the uh, symptoms of kwashiorkor this happens because of the protein deficiency in the diet let's see ahead then is the protein carbohydrate and the fat deficiency the deficiency of protein carbohydrates and fat in the diet of the children lead to a disease called marasmus so this is the marasmus disease caused by the when the proteins carbohydrates fats all three of them are not present in the food for a longer time for the children then this disease is called this is marasmus this disease generally affects the infants under 1 year of age so when the child is below 1 year or they are very new infant so they are very likely to get this disease the marasmus symptoms you can see the voice very very weak lean the you can see the skeleton from outside so the the body becomes very lean thin and so weak that a child may not be able to move also by themselves skin becomes very dry thin and wrinkled okay the ribs become very prominent so these are the ribs of the skeleton that you can see from the outside only so the skin has become so dry and these ribs have become so prominent they are visible from outside the sunken eyes the eyes goes deep okay there are big holes of the eyes that is called as the sunken eyes then a boy is unable to digest or the absorb the food they are not able to take the proper food intake may suffer from diarrhea and the child may also suffer from the diarrhea so these are some of the symptoms of marasmus this is caused because of the uh, deficiency of protein carbohydrate and fat in the food then see some vitamin deficiency diseases then the first one is vitamin a we have studied that vitamin a gives is important for the eyes and is rich in the carrots green vegetables but if you don't take vitamin a regularly in your diet what will happen night blindness is the disease which is caused by the deficiency of vitamin a so this leads to the poor vision of eyesight and loss of vision in and darkness in the eyes then is vitamin b1 so vitamin b1 uh, if you have not taken cereals and grains properly you will suffer from beriberi beriberi is the disease that is caused by b1 vitamin deficiency extreme weakness if someone is suffering from beriberi there is extreme weakness swelling of the legs 
you can see here swelling of the legs is there okay and the loss of weight is also there then is b2 vitamin b2 skin disorder so in b2 what happens when the yes so if we don't take the proper amount of b2 in our food what will happen skin disorder if we don't take eat lot of vegetables or um, fruits in the diet then we'll have this skin disorder what are the symptoms of this this is irritation in the eyes the dry skin we'll have the dry skin and inflammation of the tongue so the tongue will get swelled so we should eat a lot of fruits and vegetables then is the vitamin b12 vitamin b12 if there is deficiency of vitamin b12 then we'll have anemia so the pale skin deficiency of red blood cells in the uh, blood and the lack of stigma all these things are the symptoms of anemia then is vitamin c the vitamin c is rich in the citrus fruits like lemon oranges and if we don't take this vitamin c then uh, we can have this scurvy scurvy is the disease of the teeth you can see over here okay and what are the symptoms these are spongy bleeding gums loosening of the teeth so you will lose the teeth quickly wounds take longer time to heal in scurvy the wounds also get longer time to get healed away and the gum bleeding and loosening of teeth is there so this is the condition of the teeth during scurvy then is the vitamin d vitamin d is rich in fruits vegetables you can also get this vitamin d from the sunlight okay so the deficiency of vitamin c causes the rickets so softened and the bent bones so you can see here the boys legs are bent okay bent bones both legs due to the malformation of the leg bones pain in the bones so all this is rickett symptoms lack of vitamin c then is vitamin k if we have the lack of vitamin a there will be a hemorrhage and the uh, symptoms of this is delayed blood clotting resulting in the excessive bleeding from the wounds okay so there would be excessive bleeding from the wounds it will take a longer time to get healed because the blood clotting would be delayed and lot of blood will go away like that only if we don't take the vitamin k foods in the daily diet okay now let's move to the vitamin minerals deficiency diseases the mean we studied about the minerals like iron calcium iodine phosphorus sodium potassium so all these minerals now uh, if are not taken properly in the food diet what can happen they can also cause some disease the deficiency diseases of mineral let's see one by one iron if we don't take iron properly iron is rich in what leaves vegetables like spinach okay the green vegetables contain a lot of iron and if we don't take these vegetables we can have anemia again the anemia symptoms are weakness fatigue loss of weight the pale skin so you will feel a lot of tired fatigue every time that is anemia if you are not eating green vegetables okay then is the calcium calcium is essential for the bones and teeth we, we get a lot of calcium from drinking milk correct so if we don't take or drink milk what will happen bone and teeth decay so weakness of bones excessive bleeding of the gums stunt growth and tooth decay weakness all these are some of the symptoms of the uh, calcium deficiency diseases then is the iodine iodine is also a mineral and the deficiency disease caused by the deficiency of iodine is gutta so this is abnormal enlargement of the thyroid gland like this you can see this is the enlargement abnormally enlargement of the thyroid gland and the mental disability okay
so if you uh, where we get iodine from from the iodine iodized soil then as the phosphorus phosphorus causes rickets in the children that means the bones get weak poor development or mental retardedness retired growth the growth is not proper okay the bones do not get the proper nutrients okay so the children can get rickets then is the sodium and potassium sodium and potassium if there is the deficiency of these body muscles weakness happens the muscles become weakness and there is tiredness every time then is the fluorine the fluorine causes the dental caries you can see over here these are the um, flies that get into the teeth okay so these are the dental caries uh, there is a pain in teeth sensitivity to the hot and the cold food and drinks happen during this dental caries okay then let's see if we take large amount of food in our diet excessive intake of food like this boys do so what will happen overeating of the food will cause us to become obese okay we'll get fat and fat so this excessive intake of food is not good we should have uh, we should take a like regular physical exercises and avoid eating a lot of fat and carbohydrates in the food because uh, again otherwise we will become obese or fat overeating of the fat rich foods also lead to an overeating condition called obesity this obesity is not good okay it can cause uh, cardiovascular diseases the heart diseases the stomach diseases okay and uh, which is not good for health correct many people especially children eat a lot of junk food such as burgers chips and soft drinks all these food items contain large amount of fats and sugars due to the lack of physical activity fat gets accumulated in the body and cause obesity so if we eat a lot of junk food and take a lot of soft drinks what will happen and we are not doing the physical activity also the fat get collected in the body gets collected in the body or gets accumulated in the body and causes obesity obese people may suffer from the cardiovascular cardiovascular diseases like hypertension arteriosclerosis regular physical exercises and avoiding fat and carbohydrate rich diet in the regularly so we should uh, take the regular physical exercise and we should avoid a lot of fat and carbohydrates in the food so that we cannot get obese we don't want to get obese okay so these are some of the assignment questions of today this was the last part of this chapter we will start with the new chapter and before that you will get some questions to solve or answer in the notebooks please use your general copies or old science copies to answer the questions of the textbook thank you i hope you have enjoyed the video we'll start the next chapter in next video thank you